All right, so this is kind of a interesting intro to a video, but as you guys know, uh, we're following my saltwater journey for an aquarium, and uh, my aquarium is not in my truck. Uh, I'm actually in my truck because I also have freshwater uh, aquariums, and we went out and bought these uh, fancy goldfish, and uh, well, after like a day of being in the tank, uh, they started showing signs of, uh, I guess, the, the male was forcing the big female to lay the eggs, and so I had to uh, help the female get the eggs out, and then help the male do his thing to fertilize the eggs. Um, that was uh, the first time I've ever done that, and uh, hopefully the last, because uh, they are uh, my wife's fish, and hopefully she takes over the reins next time. Um, but we did not think that we were going to be super successful with it. But uh, some eggs hatched, and we were not really expecting it to. We kind of had the eggs uh, sitting in a tank uh, off to the side. And I just so happened to glance in there today, and there are little tiny fry uh, kind of clinging to the glass and stuff. So I got to go get a little tiny sponge filter and a little tiny pump. We also have to figure out how to get our hands on some live brine shrimp. But uh, we got some baby brine shrimp, mini sponge air driven sponge filter kit, a breeder net. Uh, that's more of like a safety precaution. And then an air control valve. All right, so we're here at my desk. And uh, if you can't tell, it's been kind of a hectic couple of days uh, now that we're kind of settled in here. Um, let me just kind of give you a, a breakdown. So we did get the new camera um, using that right now. I uh, don't know if you guys know the difference or not. It is the same resolution. It's just much easier to record with and I can get some really cool underwater footage. Second, uh, I did pick up corals. I'll throw up, um, you know, some B-roll of me dipping them and then throwing them in. What I did pick up was a uh, hammer coral um, and then a kryptonite candy cane. Um, the clowns are not hosting. Um, and I also kind of have an update on the clowns. Uh, maybe some bad news. Um, there's no like disease or anything i think they got a divorce <laughs> uh, they, they were fully paired um now they're no longer sleeping together uh where the black clown does host uh he sleeps or kind of has this like little dugout area under a rock uh and he does not really let the the orange uh clownfish around uh a little aggressive um it is pretty annoying i am monitoring it i'm in my office a lot uh, obviously this is where i work so i can monitor uh, how aggressive they are um but i did notice that the black clownfish is uh gaining quite a bit of size and so i'm kind of hoping that this is kind of like the turning point of where maybe there's going to be uh, the male and the female, uh, hopefully the black is gaining some sort of um, uh, dominance and, and, and really pro probably turning into a female. That's, that's, at least that's just what I'm hoping. Um, and then uh, the reason why it's, it's been a little bit since uh, the update and why this episode is kind of scattered all over the place is um, as we picked up the coral. Um, I did have a medical emergency myself. Um, I did have to go under the knife. Uh, I am fine. Um, no worries there. Uh, so all things good. But right when we got back, um, my wife, she, she picked up some Orenda uh, goldfish. Um, and we already had a Ryukin uh, just swimming around in our 65 gallon in our living room and it's just three of them. And uh, we noticed that there was quite a bit of aggression and um, the Ryukin 
which we named Gorlock the Destroyer, uh, was being pushed around by the spotted Orenda. And uh, that's how we knew that, okay, uh, he's trying to push out the eggs or trying to force her to push out the eggs so he can fertilize. Um, but the aggression was getting uh, pretty high. And so I had to manually excrete the eggs and uh, milk the spotted uh, Orenda myself. Uh, I've never done that before. Um, so I feel very weird about that. Uh, but suffice to say, a couple days later, we did get some hatches. Um, so hence why I had to run to the store and uh, grab that sponge filter uh, because the filter that was on the tank that they're currently in um, is really not made for uh, little fish fry. You know, they're they're real tiny. Um, it's kind of surprising that, uh, you know, things this small turn into giant goldfish like that. So uh, yeah, that was pretty exciting. Um, and then since then, uh, we've just really been feeding them the baby brine shrimp. Um, so they are eating that now. So that's kind of cool. Um, but I've also been monitoring uh, my saltwater tank, uh, the aggression with the clownfish, and uh, I'll, I'll try and provide as much footage of, of that as possible. Um, if you guys have owned uh, clownfish, please let me know if you've seen, kind of seen the same thing with your clownfish. Um, it is worrisome, obviously, to think that, you know, they did may have split and are no longer paired uh, or I don't want to have to take the aggressive one back. I'm, I'm really hoping that this is just a part of the nature of things and and uh, how the male and female uh, hierarchy gets established. But if, if it's not, I I first and foremost care about the fish's health. I don't want uh, my other orange clown fish. I don't want them to get hurt. I want them to live happy little lives, you know, and uh, I'm going to continue to monitor it. I do have a fish breeder net um, that I could always put the orange clown fish in. Um, and I, I may move my substrate around, um, even though not my substrate, I may move my rocks around on my next water change if it doesn't get any better but I do have the coral on it. Luckily, they're still small enough to where, you know, I can, I can kind of mess with things and I have enough epoxy to make things stick to where, you know, I can kind of force things to happen. So uh, that's the update with all that. And uh, if you guys have any questions, concerns, leave a comment down below about the clownfish. Please let me know if you've experienced this and maybe I, you know, have to do something about it what did you do about it or if you want to see uh more content surrounding the goldfish um let, let me know i'll be sure to get some freshwater content on here as well